Police in Birmingham have arrested two teenagers and a man on suspicion of murder after the deaths of three men who'd been protecting local businesses from looters. The West Midlands Chief Constable visit, visited the site of the attack today and paid tribute to Tariq Jahan, the father of one of the men who died, for his powerful and generous appeal for calm. This programme has obtained CCTV footage taken around the time of the incident. Our Midlands correspondent Darshna Sonny reports from Birmingham. Very close, it was so close, as like three musketeers. But in the early hours of yesterday morning, two of them were killed. They'll be always in my heart. Their remaining brother, oh, Abdul Qadus, has been left to make sense of what happened. His elderly thing. parents have also struggled to cope. Shazad and Ali died in the early hours of yesterday morning. They had been part of a larger group who were out defending properties from looters. Abdul Qadus described the moment he realised both his younger brothers had been hit. I didn't know where to go because my brother, one of my brothers to my right and one to my left. I couldn't go, get to none of the eight in time. You can't do nothing, you can't even do anything. And the paramedics are trying their best. And they're right in front of your face. And there's no pulse and no heartbeat. What could you, well, what would you imagine? There have been huge concerns here that the incident could lead to racial tensions. It's not known what happened exactly, despite dozens of rumours that have been circulating. Police investigators have tried to recreate the moment the three men were hit by a car. Channel 4 News has obtained CCTV footage taken half an hour before it happened. It was a tense night with gangs of youths looting shops. The footage shows four men being chased by a larger group with sticks and bats. A few minutes later, that group returns to the scene where the incident happened, which is on the right of the screen. Then a black car drives from the direction of the incident and pulls over. The passenger appears to be having an animated discussion with the driver. The front headlight is broken. Moments later, the emergency services arrive. A third man, Haroon Jahan, was also killed. His father has spoken eloquently of his grief and appealed for calm. This quietly spoken, modest man did not want to be thrust into the spotlight, but he's credited with helping prevent violence, and he's been described as representing the true face of modern Britain. I, I lost my son. Uh, I love him deeply. I know every parent loves their child deeply. Um, and it's trying to make people understand right now that we don't need this. You, we don't need this. Right a 32-year-old man arrested on suspicion of murder has been released on bail. Three others have been arrested. And those three men include two teenagers aged just 16 and 17 and a 26-year-old. They're still being questioned this evening. Here at the scene, it's a very different atmosphere to that we experienced yesterday when things certainly felt very tense. Today, it seems very relaxed. There are still large groups gathered here, but they've mainly come to pay their respects, to read the floral tributes that have been left, and to remember the three boys who died. Much of the credit for that change in atmosphere has been attributed to the relatives of those who died. Abdul Qadus, the brother of the two men who we saw there, and also Tariq Jahan. He said today he never wanted to appear in front of the cameras. Indeed, when journalists first knocked on his door and asked for interviews, he had said he didn't want to say anything. The grief was too raw. He now says he recognises his responsibility and if in any way his words can help calm the situation, then he's certainly willing to help the police get out their message in appealing for everyone here to calm down. Darshan Sonny in Birmingham.